National League side Sutton United and Lincoln City's FA Cup exploits this season thrust non-league football into the media spotlight. But with the spotlight comes scrutiny and in the last few years people have begun to highlight the vast differences in funding, attendance and support between the Premier League and grassroots football. Just this week it was reported that football super agent Mino Raiola earned £41 million from Manchester United's transfer of Paul Pogba, a third of last season's FA grassroots budget. I spoke to the Senior Vice President of the London FA and a non-league superfan at Ryman Premier League side Wingate and Finchley Stadium to find out their views. I've been involved in non-league football virtually all my life, um, primarily through the Maccabi movement and then I was involved with Wingate. Is participation sadly in uh, grassroots, which, um, and I'm not talking about the Ryman's level, but on Sunday, as far as Sunday football is concerned, the leagues are getting less and less and teams are getting less and less and therefore the leagues are diminishing. The FA, uh, together with all the counties, are trying to sort out ways of encouraging new people to come and uh, A, play, which is very important, most important of all, and manage and administer. And unfortunately, it's less and less people. Superfan Tom Salinger has his own reasons for attending hundreds of non-league matches. I think people should realise there's a ground or two on your doorstep. Cheap entry. Fans here mingle with each other. No trouble at all. You get to know the players. They get to know you. There is more to football than just the bigger clubs and the Premier League. So the takeaway from all of this? Get down to your local non-league side every so often and who knows, you might just fall in love with football again.